get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I mean, a little friend shit, and I brushes it. <laughs> what? You want to argue about? No, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not going to uh, uh, try and befriend you like, um, like I need you. And no, this is the time I feel like this. I feel like this, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm scrawny as hell, and I feel like this. Don't let nobody ever make you feel like you can't love you, bitch. <laughs> Cause <laughs> it's all about you. Don't. You know, I've been told I'm selfish because I'm gonna love me. Huh. How sweet? I don't have no kids. I ain't got no puppy. I ain't got no cat. I don't have a rat. I don't have a. Uh, 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 shit, I don't have no nothing. I've been on my grind and I can't lose. Waking me up now like I can't snooze. Niggas don't make it home like they used to. Niggas ain't making dough like they used to. I ain't come to play with you, niggas. I'ma make a few bands. I'ma shake a few bitches. I'ma make them understand. Ha, I'm not a gimmick. I'm different, 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 different. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another freaking vlog. Look! I don't even know if y'all can see this sign. Carowinds is the amusement park that we have here. Now, am I going? Hell no. I get too nervous on them rides, child. I ain't got time. I just had to stop real quick, get a little bit of gas. At gas. Uh, so I'm going by my bin. Like, what are you doing? The sign right there. Hopefully, y'all can see it. This nigga speed. Well, anyway, today, my, um, uh, so, y'all, I call him white boy. First of all, what's funny is the video, you know, the vlog we put out the other day where I told y'all we got kicked out of the furniture store. White boy is not white. He's Cuban, okay? <laughs> um, and the guy that kicked us out of the store, he's not white. He's from Bosnia. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people thought that they were white and they're not even, not even white. But uh, they're just lighter skinned. I call white boy white boy because he sounds like a, a, a freaking country singer. You know, that's just about to break out in song at any given time. You know what I'm saying? That's why I call him white boy. But anyway, he has a son named Cheeks. I call him Cheeks. His son name is Tristan. And uh, today is his birthday, so they're going to the skating rink. And um, he wants me to come out there, so I'm going to go out there for a little while. And then I'm going to eat tacos with my parents later. And I got to go upload some videos while whew, I'm at my friend's job and drink an IPA. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of things to do. So, right now, y'all enjoy this montage. I was just letting y'all know what was going on for the day you heard. Welcome to the freaking vlog. So, y'all, my friend works at this bar. I'm going to tell you what it's called, but she works here. And it's in the more suburban part of Charlotte so anyway I'm coming here she done left because she got off I didn't know uh, I guess I came too late or whatever so I'm still here and I come like every other day it's normally not this packed day zone all I smell is money up in here you know what I'm saying I, I don't even want to be here no more <laughs> I'm trying to upload my video Cause I get this Wi-Fi on Friday, but child, I'm ready to leave. You know, tonight I'm doing Taco Tuesday with my family. You know, my mama, my daddy, and them. You know, um, and I'm about to go to the skate ring and surprise my little cheeks. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, I still gotta work and upload my videos and shit. And um, man, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna just turn the camera a little bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. Get me out of here. So y'all at times I wish I lived by the water. Because it looks really nice by the water. Especially like beach water. I would love to stay by beach water. But unfortunately I don't. However. Isn't this nice? Oh, what the fuck was that? Something just tried to come up out of there on me. I'm trying to tell y'all. 
Y'all think an anaconda out there? Just curious. What if I see an alligator? That's how you gotta start that thing while you're not in that thing. I just had to eat Wendy's because I was starving. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's hot as hell. I can't do it. But, see if I can get a thumbnail. It's nice out here, though. I'm waiting on Dime to come out of the movies. He went to watch Spider-Man. I didn't even know it was a new Spider-Man out. So I just feel kind of left behind, you know. Stop telling me to put on my seatbelt. I ain't even driving yet. <laughs> Everybody be like, need to put on your seatbelt. I know y'all mean well. I'm just playing. Look at my hair, Lord. I need it done. But yeah, y'all, I ain't want nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to the skating rink or whatever. I just smashed some Wendy's. Something just tried to get me in the water. So I had to get up out of there. But yeah, hell yeah. Where the hell is he at? Oh, there he goes. You hit me, you motherfucker! Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> What's up, well, that, Dime? Why well, you got to be filming me being stupid? <laughs> montage, montage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so are we going, am I going walking now? No, nah, we're going. Skate. You're just gonna follow me? Yeah. Just scary. It's right up the street. All right. It's like a like mile and a half. I've seen it. Oh, get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, I know Dom acts like a white boy, but he's Cuban. He's totally Cuban. He really doesn't even look white. You just gotta see him in person. But he sounds like a hillbilly. Yeah. Like he's just about to start singing some country ad music. Growler USA. Oh. Alright, y'all. Let's go to the damn skating rink. This is a dope ass skating rink. I, I ain't even know. I gotta, I gotta get cheap. Cheap is too cool. Daddy. No! Yeah, you do. You dance is just like that. What's going on? How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. White boy know how to skate. Gimmick, so I had to get in. Bitches was so frigid, but now they with it, with it. Yeah, I really live it. You can ask them, I did it. They probably go to hood, my nigga, don't forget it. I'ma tell you now, so you don't get it twisted. Homie, I'm different. Yeah, I'm really different. If you really listen, checking how I kick it, you gon' be the first to admit that I'm the shit. It's on instant. Please tell the haters, keep their distance. Okay, now, comparing how I'm living to them living, they foul. Me and all my day ones was really in the playground. I ain't trying to play around. I gotta say now that I'm really different, different. <laughs> different, different, different. I was in the streets with the illest niggas. Oh, it's my birthday. I can't get it right. Ugly shoes on the sun. <laughs> 
just hang tight for just a few minutes. We'd like to acknowledge some very special guests that are here with us tonight. So when I call your name, I want you to come on out to the skating circle, just right underneath the spotlight in the front of the skating floor. So first, we have Sakya. She is here today celebrating her 11th birthday. Here. So we get Sakya out to the skating floor. You're going out there. You're going out there, right? Maybe. All right. Next Maybe. Shimmy. Shimmy is here to celebrate her birthday. Oh. Hey, 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 I'm happy I met Dom. He's a really, really, really nice guy. Yeah, y'all have no idea. Like he ain't even faking. When I first met Dom, he used to get on my damn nerves. <laughs> He's like, boy, you get on my nerves, Dom. But uh, he cool as hell. Like he's really, really genuine. Like the most genuine dude I've probably ever met in my life. His parents. So his <laughs> his dad is Cuban, and his mom is white. But she she grew up on on the in the hood part of the, uh, Charlotte. So does that still make her white? <laughs> she told me I could come to her house out in the country, and I said I'm gonna have to come during the day, child, because she's talking about they got uh, a lot of acres of land, however many that is. Let me tell you something. I ain't trying to run into no coyote. No coyote or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me hurry up and get my ass to this uh, restaurant before my mama cuts me out. <clears throat> so, you know what's funny? People make it as if you're not entitled to your own opinion, right? So, today, but y'all would, it would technically be yesterday for y'all. Um, you know, I spoke about titles and things like that. Now, me, I have been in a relationship since I was 17, off and on up to 30, okay? I haven't had the chance to experience being in a relationship with a, uh, I mean, not being in a relationship and just really, really getting some self-love, right? And not even that my relationships were bad, because I'm not even speaking like, I was in a bad relationship or in bad relationships things happen I was just giving scenarios of shit that people really go through you know what I'm saying versus you know um talking about my my relationships you know what I'm saying but I've been in a relationship for so damn long you know I am loving 
uh, this self-love thing, right? So I didn't say I'm, you know what I'm saying, trying to be a hoe or none of that. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm simply loving being by my damn self. You know what I'm saying? It's a good damn feeling, you know? So, <laughs> for some reason when you give your own opinion, people just, I mean, you can get your own opinion about however the hell you feel. Not about nobody else, just however the hell you feel. <laughs> and people think, you know what I'm saying, they mad. Now, granted, on that video, I got a, a lot of great comments, so I'm not just going to talk about uh, the negative comments I got. So, going into the positive comments, you know, I appreciate y'all so much for understanding. You know, some people like shit, I just, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to sit down and do this video. Pause on the play. Well, good morning, people. It's your girl, Nikki G, the host. And today, I want to speak about the video from yesterday. Now, I don't have shit bad to say, right? You know, people in their little comments or whatever, um, you know, I'm talking about the negative stuff. I'm not going to speak on the negative um, at all. I'm going to speak about everything that was positive. And I'm going to give y'all a little quick story time about why I am the way I am today. And if you don't understand that, I don't know what that All right. First of all, the comments yesterday, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people hear me. Like self-love is the best love, that's a fact. You know, in the, in the times of you being by yourself, that's when you realize you can stand on my own. Nigga. I can stand on my two, what? Them bills don't ain't really got that much money, but I'm gonna still get it done. I'm gonna get it done. I need some groceries. I ain't really got the money for that, but I don't even know. I ain't gonna ask nobody for no help. I eat noodles. I cook me a spaghetti, eat that bitch for a week till I get paid. Let me tell you something. You figure out who you really are when you are alone, right? A lot of people understand that. That's the, those are most of the comments that I got that I appreciate. Um, they was just saying like, you know, you most elite when you sing. That's a fact. You're not obligated to be in a relationship with someone. Since I've been 17, I've been obligated to be in a relationship willingly, unwillingly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let me just give y'all a quick little story time of, 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 of my history of relationships. When I was uh, 18, I, you know, had just graduated from out of high school last year, ran away from my parents' career because my daddy was tripping because I was gay. Um, ended up moving in with my brother. That didn't work, so I ended up getting me a little apartment uh, in university. Couldn't really afford it, but anyway, uh, I ended up meeting this girl on uh, online. She was just about to graduate high school. I was 18, she was 18, but she was about to graduate out of high school. I was already out of high school. We ended up going together for what? maybe a year and some change. Shit, I could be wrong. It was about almost a year, if not a little under. So, she was graduating high school and she's about to go to college. Um, uh, things didn't go well. She ended up going to college, cheating on me with a girl that I used to know. We are right now, uh, the girl that I used to know, we cool, she, she got her shit together. You know, we, we ain't got no problem. She watched the channel and stuff like that. Ain't no problem. That That's not the point I'm saying. I'm just letting you know. That was what? 18 to 19. So then about when I turned 20, I met this other girl. And no, no, no. Right after that girl that I broke up with or the girl that cheated on me, um, I ended up getting in a relationship with this other girl I had just met at Scorpio. So we had Scorpios, you know what I'm saying, doing a thing and shit. And I put my phone in front of her, I got her number, y'all. She moved in three days later. I cannot make this up. She moved in three days later. What kind of lesbian shit is this? <laughs> so that happened with her. You know, relationship shit, young shit happened. We broke up. So then, I was single for maybe 
six months. End up meeting this other chick. I was her first. I gave her the business. She fell in love, shit. And, you know, she really was straight. She really like me, but she really liked me. So she was trying to make me a wife and have a husband. That didn't work out. <laughs> so um, I get to 24. Oh, well, me and her lasted up to 24. I get to 24, me and Jadia started going together. And me and Jadia was together until 29. I'm about to turn 30. From 17 to 29, I have been in a relationship. Frankly, in the midst of that, I lost who I was. I didn't even know who the hell I was anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting shit done, of course, but I could have been doing way better, you know? Especially now. But I haven't had that time to, to, to get my shit together, you know? And now I'm finally single for real. I've never been able to go to sleep at 10, 11 o'clock or even just get in the bed at 10 o'clock to lay down, to fall asleep. And now I'm just laying down about 10, 30 now. Watch me a little bit of flash. Take my ass to sleep. Wake up at 9, 8, 30, 9 in the morning. I, ain't, I haven't done that in so long. So long. I, I mean, I don't even remember the last time I did that. You know what I'm saying? And that might sound cliche to some of y'all, but I'm loving it. <clears throat> the point is, from 17 to 30 years old, people, those are the times where you're supposed to be getting your shit together and you together. You get what I'm saying? My daddy told me to be single for five years a long time ago. He was single for five years. He said he got to learn who he was. So now he's been with my stepmom. I call her my mama. Uh, Cause I don't want y'all to mistake her for the other lady. But um, they've been together for 25 years now. You get what I'm saying? But he said that he had to learn him first. At that time, my stepmama was, uh, my mama was learning herself too. She was single, just got in a, a bad relationship. You know what I'm saying? And she was learning herself too. They ended up learning themselves and they knew what they didn't want. They brought to the table what they didn't want. And now they got that. Happily ever after. The point is, I'm not in no rush to be in a relationship with no damn woman people. I'm not. And I'm not going to be. You get what I'm happy. Shit happens. I mean, a little friend shit, and I brushes it. <laughs> what? You want to argue about? No, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not going to uh, uh, try and befriend you like, um, like I need you. And no, this is the time. I feel like this. I feel like this, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm scrawny as hell, and I feel like this. I feel like chest high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy as hell. It ain't nothing nobody can do about that. Okay, so everybody's entitled to feel how they feel about my titles, video, and stuff like that. But let me tell you something now, in this video. Self-love is the best love. Do you hear me? I mean, the most pure thing I've ever felt in a long goddamn time. And it didn't, it didn't even take long for me to be able to go out to eat, chill by myself, drink, listen to my headphone, work, do what I need to do, come to the crib, ain't have to worry about nothing. If I'm a cook, I'm a cook. Whatever I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. I, I just, I, all I got to worry about is myself. I take pride in that shit, man. I'm happy as hell. I'm ending this vlog, you know, and I'm gonna end it off with this. Don't let nobody ever make you feel like you can't love you, bitch. <laughs> it's all about you. Don't, you know, I've been told I'm selfish because I'm gonna love me. <laughs> That's crazy.
crazy. You selfish because you just want to love yourself. Huh? How, Sway? I don't have no kids. I ain't got no puppy. I ain't got no cat. I don't have a rat. I don't have a, a, a sugar garden or nothing. I don't have a damn um a squirrel. Not a, not a rat or nothing. I ain't selfish with this apartment because these bills gonna get paid. I ain't selfish with my car because that car payment gets paid. I love me, you know? But that's it. Cause I ain't about to talk your head off any long. Finish my yoga. Y'all have a good day. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world, and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.